time to make some new pudding dessert that's pretty good for low calorie. It is kind of our own invention. If you're tired of the same chocolate pudding, give this one a try. We're starting with four cups of milk, four cups of water, and these are the other ingredients that we're gonna make this amazing, delicious pudding from. We've got a cup of oatmeal, we've got half a cup of cornstarch, we've got uh, 20 grams each of raisins and dried apricots, I think about 48 grams of almonds that we're gonna chop. We're also gonna add some cloves and cinnamon sticks as we cook it. So this is based loosely on a classic Turkish dessert called ashere, or Noah's dessert. It's a not even milky pudding, it's a pudding that they put a lot of different things in it. It'll have beans, it'll have wheat berries, dried fruit, nuts, all chopped up, and it's just like everything mixed in together, and it's really delicious. And when we were searching low calorie desserts, you see a lot of people using oatmeal, so we've incorporated that into some of our puddings, and it comes out good. And adding a little milk makes it creamy, but you don't need the full strength of milk, so that's why it's half milk and half water, four cups of each. So let's cook it. So I'm gonna put the oatmeal in with the liquid first, and the cornstarch. So we're not gonna add the sugar now. If we add the sugar and it overheats, it can get bitter. So we're gonna add that at the end. So let's start cooking this. Let's not forget to add a couple of cinnamon sticks and some whole cloves as we cook. That'll just beautiful aroma as it cooks and great flavor. So put your fire on high heat and stir everything together. So stir it pretty frequently as it heats up. Make sure the cornstarch dissolves and nothing sticks. Another thing we like to add is some citrus zest. If you've got orange, it's a little sweeter, but lemon will do pretty well as well. So we're gonna just zest that right over our pan. One trick I like to do is maybe do about half of it for first while it's cooking, and then at the end when we're putting the sweetener in, we can do the rest of the zest. So we'll put this in now. It smells great. chopped apricots. Those can all go in while it's cooking. So you keep stirring and keep it on a medium high heat. It'll start steaming. It's not thickening up yet, so we'll keep cooking it. It's pretty easy and cooks pretty quickly, so don't, don't walk away from it. So as, as soon as the mixture starts bubbling, then you'll start to notice it's getting thicker. So that's pretty close. You don't want to overcook it. You don't want to full boil it, but you do want to let it bubble for a few minutes as you keep stirring it. Like any cornstarch pudding, it thickens more as it cools. But with this, because we have oatmeal, you want to make sure the oatmeal cooks. So when it's bubbling this much, we'll turn the heat off, put the rest of the ingredients in. Make sure you stir it really well so nothing sticks to the bottom. Because it's milk-based, it can, it can burn. So we have one and a half cups of Confectioner's Swerve. It doesn't have to be Swerve brand, but we found it gives good results. And that'll give zero calorie sweetness. And I'm also gonna do roughly a tablespoon of vanilla. There we go.
The confectioner's sweetener is great because it dissolves right away. You don't want to cook the erythriol if you can help it, it gets bitter. But if you just put it in at the end, it's a really, really natural sweetness. And we'll zest the rest of the citrus. Again, orange if you have it, it's pretty fantastic, but it's also good with lemon. And the cat's playing with the ping pong ball again. The zest is done. Get it all in there. Another bit of a stir. Give it a little taste to make sure it comes out all right. Mm, yeah, that's really delicious. You've got all kinds of great flavors in there. The citrus, the vanilla, the cinnamon, the cloves give it a great kick. And then when you find the, the nuts and the dried fruit, mm, it's really satisfying and delicious. This is a really cool low calorie dessert invention that we're very proud of. Let's put it in some dishes and get it cooled down. Get some of your favorite ramekins. Put that in the back of your fridge for a few hours. Enjoy low calorie dessert heaven. Bon appetit. Subscribe and share with your friends. Here it is, and it's delicious. We're gonna top it with some pistachios and some fruit and cinnamon. And it is one of the best and most interesting, delicious low calorie desserts. Bon appetit. Subscribe and share with your friends.